This is an E cylinder or an E tank. It is very common and used in the hospitals and in homes. This one has a gauge on the side which shows you the amount that's in it and there's a measurement here in pounds per square inch PSI. 2000 is the range of full. 2000 is the full range. There is a on and off valve. We'll open this up and now there is a leader flow knob. We turn that zero. If this is set at zero, nothing is coming out. If we turn it to a half, one half liter is coming out. Two liters, three liters, four liters, 12 liters, 15, 25 liters per minute is coming out of here. This is 25 liters per minute. Here is another gauge and here we have the pounds per square inch. Sometimes we call that PSI, pounds per square inch. Sometimes we call it PSIG, pounds per square inch shown on the gauge. The G stands for gauge. And here we have a flow, which is our liter flow, liters per minute. And we we'll turn this on and our flow gauge comes up four liters per minute six liters per minute seven eight liters per minute and so on now we'll turn it and set our flow to zero our flow is now set to zero nothing comes out it will last a long time this is 1,000 pounds per square inch that's in this tank. That is a pressure. And look how much it weighs. I can pick that up. 1,000 pounds per square inch. That is not a weight. That is a pressure. Here we have a drawing of an E cylinder, an E tank. It has a pressure of whatever is put into it. A fill pressure in an E-cylinder is 2,000 pounds per square inch. You can fill most modern cylinders 10% over. So we can fill this to a maximum of 2,200 pounds per square inch. That's how much force is on the inside pushing out on this cylinder. It is gas. It is not a liquid. This is compressed gas. Now, if it's in the E cylinder, this force pressing out is 2,000 pounds per square inch. Well, how much quantity of gas is in there? There's a factor of 0.28 for the E cylinder. So for the E cylinder, it is the factor 2.8 times the pressure Let's say our pressure is 2,000 pounds per square inch on the gauge. So then we would put 2,000 right here, multiplied times 2,8, and we would get some number, which is probably 56, 560, 560 what? This comes out into liters. Liters. So now we've converted the pressure into a volume. So we know at 200, we have 560 liters in the E cylinder. Now we have an H cylinder. An H cylinder has the same rules. The fill, the full, is 2,000 pounds per square inch, but it can be overfilled 10%, so it may go to 2,200. 
You may go look at a cylinder and say, this has 2,200 pounds per square inch in it. That's way overfill. Well, it's allowed to be 10% over. If you go in and it says 2,500 pounds per square inch, then call the oxygen company and have them come up and pick it up. This is an H cylinder, and it has a factor of 3.14. So let's say here we have an H cylinder, and we look at the gauge, and the gauge is reading right here 1,000 pounds per square inch. What volume do we have in it? We have 3.14 times 1,000 the amount on the gauge. I picked that number easily so we can say 1140. So we can say 3140 liters. are in a H cylinder with 1,000 pounds per square inch. How long will that last? Well, we have an H cylinder with 1,000 PSI on the gauge. Multiplied by our factor gives us the amount in liters, 3,140 liters. Well, how fast are we running it? Let's say we're running it at 3.14 liters per minute. Then we divide 3.14 into this, and we're going to come up with 1,000 minutes. 1,000 minutes. How many hours is that? Divide that by 60 and you're going to get a large number. 1,000 divided by 60 is the same as 100 divided by 6. It goes into there one time with 40 left over. 6 times 8, 6 times 7, 6 times 6, 16. 16 hours. Uh, that's a 36 with 4 left over, 0.6 is a repeating decimal. This comes out to 16 hours, 16 point, this comes out to, this comes out to 16.6 hours, and it's a repeating decimal. But that's in hours, which is also 16 hours, and how many minutes? 0.6 times 60 minutes per hour is 36 minutes. So 16 hours and 36 minutes is the same as 16 hours and 36 hours, 36 minutes is the same as 16.6 hours.